Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. It's the time that we should make a very honest and transparent review about our forex signals from Telegram group. And I wanted to share with you the results right in front of you. So these are all of the results, as you can see, my friends. Some, some days will be actually good. Some other days is going to be bad. But what matters actually is the results at the end of the month, not the results of the day. For example, Monday was not really that good. But however, Tuesday was fantastic. And as we can see, so many signals have reached the take profit number two. Um, some signals also we had to close with very small losses such as nine pips and 12 pips. Wednesday also was, uh, I think, was, I think, good day, but no, no, not Wednesday, sorry, it was Thursday. Uh, Wednesday, also, actually, we closed uh, some of the signals in very small and tiny losses, and we also apologized to our members for the bad day, and we promised them to recover the day after. And thankfully, we were able to accomplish our promise, and we have actually made a lot of profits recovering all of the previous losses, and so on, as you can see. So these are all of the results, as you can see. Um, Friday, we had some signals are still Still running so far um we were actually the market actually got hit by the news about the unemployment rate from the united states therefore the signals actually on friday were going in a very good profit but suddenly after the news went in uh, actually they are ranging right now and some of them are in profit some of them in loss but again this is really very normal in forex world um what we are doing right here my friends is unlike many other signals providers we are not, we are doing our best to not let the signal to reach the stop loss we when, once we see any signal going against our direction we try to close it and minimizing the losses as much as possible so i think this is a very good advantage and big score for extreme trader and i hope we're gonna we're gonna continue providing the signals in the same way so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now let me show you here something very interesting on the euro usd the very first thing we can see right here on the daily chart remember guys right now i'm on the daily chart this is not D, this is D, okay? So I'm on the daily chart. Um, we had right here a strong support zone, but however, the Euro USD was actually able to make a bearish breakout, not only once, but twice, right from these support levels. Let me explain. As we can see right here, the market right here created a first attempt from the support right here. Um, I think it was on 1.18336. Uh, however, the market immediately once it went down to create a second attempt from that very same support level the market has immediately went down all the way breaking out from that level not only that but we also had right here a very strong key support level exactly on 1.17623 and the market immediately as well once it has reached that level it made a small bullish candle but however eventually made another breakout from that support level so what does that mean that means actually that the, the bears are pushing the market down the sellers actually are the sellers are comp controlling the euro usd and for what we can see right here is we had here um this price action this price action usually indicates a bullish reversal that means most likely that the euro usd right now is actually completing a pullback and right after finishing this pullback to retest the broken support level and this right here the support level right here on 1.18338 and hitting also this resistance trend line as we can see on the daily chart we can see that right here we had a strong uh, resistance trend line most likely the euro usd eventually gonna reach that level and most likely after all is gonna reverse right away from that level the problem is we have to wait for so long we have to wait for the pair to rise for another uh, 71 pips before it's going to be valid for the short but that means that actually the pair eventually gonna fall but however i really don't feel so comfortable about this uh, selling the euro usd right here looking at this resistance trend line i would assume that the euro usd most likely actually gonna must uh, most likely is gonna reverse immediately or directly right from that level uh, of the peak of the of this bullish candle on 1.18043 and um, we can make the edge of the safe zone immediately uh, just directly like that 
because most likely this is where the pair is gonna continue uh, the rise if it gets if it if it's gonna happen so the safe zone will be gonna be ranging for about 42 pips but however we gotta start shorting the uh, euro usd after it rises for another 45 pips to hit the, sh the short level on 1.18043 which was by the way a very good resistance level as we can see right here and a strong support level as well that being said um your usd is gonna be good for the short at 1.18043 and this is gonna be exactly the edge of the safe zone just like that perfect and now for the target now once we are actually shorting the pair right here we actually gonna be aiming the the lowest level of the support exactly right here where the pair has reversed on 1.17029 so actually we are aiming about 101 pips profit from this signal that that being said take profit level is gonna be 1.17030 this is uh, my opinion about the euro usd but however guys i have to mention something here please trade wisely and of course always invest an amount in this signal one of the comments was actually very annoying i don't want to show it right here um he was complaining about the gold analysis and he said it's a rubbish uh, signal however of course my friend if you are not prepared for the losses then this is what will gonna happen always prepare for the losses and of course remember each and every signal i'm sending here has a winning ratio of about 90 percent but however there is a still 10 percent that the signal might fail so please be pay attention and be careful and wise when you are entering the signal and keep in your mind that you should never actually um reach the margin call on your account just because of one signal otherwise you can never survive in forex you always have to invest an amount for example uh plan to invest for example 50 dollars or if you want even 500 dollars uh, on this signal but you have to make sure that the limit is going to the maximum you can lose is, is going to be 500 dollars only if you have for example ten thousand dollars account so at least you have you have investment you have a plan if you have lost the signal you can recover in many other signals we're gonna send but however don't put all of your eggs in one basket so of course always be careful and trade wisely and consider that this signal might go in loss this is just my my analysis and my expectation for how the pair is gonna actually continue the fall sorry for the long speech uh let's now move to the pound usd now for the pound usd actually as we can see right here on the four hour time frame uh, as we can see the pair is moving obviously in a very strong bearish momentum and if we draw right here a resistance trend line just like that exactly we can see that the pound usd actually seems like it's going to respect this resistance trend line and in my opinion we have to wait for the pound usd to rise for another um, 43 pips before it reaches the very strong key resistance level on 1.38641 uh, as we can see always guys before you if let me just show you something always study the structure of the market this level here i'm talking about is really quite strong it was a very strong resistance right here and right here and all right and right here as well and therefore we can expect from the pair to of course after hitting the resistance trend line as well so it's going to reverse exactly on the very same level now as a support it was also strong as a support uh, the market went uh, down below this level a little bit more immediately breaking out from it all of that indicates that this level is really quite strong and the market once it's reached it it actually reverses therefore uh, this is where we're gonna actually start shorting the pair sell the pound usd at 1.38641 and of course uh, similar to the euro usd uh the, the 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 edge of the safe zone has to be actually just right here above the resistance trend line so if you see the, uh, if you see any here bull, strong bullish breakout candle then immediately close your trade with the losses or actually minimizing the losses as much as possible so the safe zone should be ranging for about 51 pips which is really fair enough this is exactly the edge of the safe zone just like that and for the take profit level if the pair actually gonna continue the the, the reverse right after hitting, hitting that resistance we can expect from the pound usd to fall all the way to hit that support level on 1.37520 um, so we're actually going to be aiming about um 110 pips of profit really hopefully we can make them so exactly right here the take profit level perfect and uh, let me just write it for you the take profit level gonna be uh 1.37596 
there goes your signal for the pound USD and I really hope also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's now move to the AUD USD. Now, uh, very similar also to the, to the pound USD and euro USD, um, AUD USD also moving in a very strong bearish momentum right now. And as we can see right here, we can see that the pattern of the head and shoulders has appeared. What does that mean? That means that we can expect from the AUD USD to move in a very strong bearish momentum for the for the next few weeks. And however, we can see that the pair actually right now ranging exactly on that resistance level uh, of uh, 0 0.76502. And however, we have to wait for the AUD USD to reach that level of this resistance again, because as we can see right here, the pair has created a resistance number one or a first attempt of the resistance right after breaking out from that support level. Now, the best opportunity for us is to short the AUD USD exactly on the second attempt of the support. And if that happens, we can continue actually shorting the pair until it reaches the lowest level of the support right here. So enough with the daily chart and let's just, just let's just move to the four hour time frame. So as we can see right here, this is the four hour time frame and this is the peak of the resistance right here. So th therefore, this is exactly where we're gonna short the AUD USD on 0.76502. And the, sh the target is going to be, as I said, the peak, the, the lowest level of the support exactly right here. So this is going to be our take profit level. Uh, let me just write it for you. Take profit level is going to be on 0 0.75337. And the safe zone should be, of course, ranging just a little bit above that resistance zone right here after we actually uh, starting shorting the pair. So it's going to be about 45 fifths, which is really fair enough, as we can see exactly like that. There goes your signal for the AUD USD. You know something? Wait a minute. I want because I'm looking right here on the four hour time frame. We can see that here we had also a resistance level and we had here a strong key support level. Not only that, but we can see right here we had another key support level. Uh, that means that we should we should in increase the safe zone, the edge of the safe zone, just a few more pips like that. So it's going to be about 56 pips, which is now fair enough. Now it's better. And we have to, of course, I'm telling you always, guys, when you are opening a trade and you can see the trade going against you, just continue analyzing the market. Don't stop analyzing the market and just analyze um, where the market can go against you. And I mean, how far can it go against you? You should be able to read the market and see if it rises above the sell level. So then is, does it mean it's going to keep flying to the moon? Of course not. It just has to reverse that somewhere. You just have to find that, that place to identify that this is exactly where the pair going to reverse and I'm going to actually recover the losses. Of course, any trade you open, it has to be going in losses for some time before going to be eventually in profit. In profit sorry. So there goes your signal for the AUD USD and I really hope it's going to work very well for us and bring us lots of profits. USD CAD. As we can see, it's really very simple and very easy. To see that right here on the daily chart, we had right here, as we can see, this uh, good uh, candle, this uh, th this good price action. This candle usually indicates a continuation in the bullish reversal. Most likely, this support has been respected, as we can see on the daily chart, and we had right here a, a first attempt of the support. So this uh, support level has been again revisited from the on the same level and reversed exactly right there. And right now, we can expect from the market to fall a little bit more down to create another second attempt of the support level before actually going to continue the bullish reversal. Most likely, this is what will going to happen. Let's go back to the four hour time frame. And as we can see right here, we had the first attempt of actually we had on the four hour uh, time frame two attempts already. So therefore, uh, we can expect from the market to fall right here on the very same level. And on the third attempt, actually, we're going to start buying the USD CAD. We have to wait for the pair to fall for another um, about 40 pips before it's going to be good for the buy. Therefore, <clears throat> Um, USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.25280 and the take profit level of course gonna be right here at the peak of the resistance at 1.26392 so we're gonna be aiming about uh, 110 pips of profit hopefully we'll make them so take profit level 1.26392 and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that support level exactly right here at the next support so the nearest support to our entry is exactly this support and that's actually is ranging between uh yeah 45 pips which is really fair enough 
let me just draw for you the uh, shape of the uh, safe zone exactly just like that there goes your signal for the USD CAD and I really think it's gonna work very well and br bring us lots of profits USD GPY the USD GPY is moving in a very strong bullish momentum and as you can see right here the pair has managed finally to make the breakout from that strong resistance level uh, right here of 109.671 now, if we look carefully, the USD GPY moving in a very strong bullish momentum. Eventually, in my opinion, the pair is not gonna continue, not gonna stop rising until it reaches the peak of the resistance right here. Sorry, yeah, right here, on 112.146. Now, if we look at the left, we can see that right here, we had this fake breakout and another fake breakout. The market actually has reversed exactly on the resistance right here on 110.270 and the other resistance on 109.671. These are the real resistance levels. These two, in my opinion, if I'm not mistaken, and hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm not, these are the fake breakouts. That means that most likely this resistance right here is going to be respected or retested again exactly right here and the pair actually gonna fall right uh, all the way right here to the same level of the peak of the previous resistance and right after that we can start buying the usd gpy again now of course this is a, this has been analyzed on the daily chart let's move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can see that right here right after this strong bullish breakout candle we had already right here a first attempt or what we call resistance number one uh, after retesting that broken support, uh, resistance level most likely that the USD GPY is gonna fall right here to hit the same level of the resistance and right here on the second attempt of the uh, of the support sorry did I say resistance support so did, why am I writing resistance sorry it's a mistake sorry <laughs> support the support number one so we had right here a first attempt of the support and right here we can expect from the USD GPY to fall again to hit the same level of the support to create another attempt and support number two is exactly where we're going to start buying the USD GPY. And of course, as I said before, the target is going to be actually aiming that resistance, but that is of course in the long, long run. For the meantime, we just have to aim the peak of the resistance right here on 111.488, which is going to be about uh, 120 pips, hopefully going to be a good profit. So therefore, um, USDGPY is for the buy at 110.270, exactly like that. And the take profit level is going to be 111.488 and the safe zone of course has to be ranging of course but just between uh, the peak of the resistance uh, the previous uh, yeah this resistance right here let me show you since we are actually entering our trade uh, on the peak of that real, real resistance we can actually set our uh, edge of the safe zone to be at the other uh, the peak of the uh, other resistance right here that's the reason i'm selecting this uh, level as my tech my my safe zone uh, the, the, the edge of the safe zone which is going to be about 57 pips there goes your signal for the usd gpy and i think it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits usd chf it's very easy to actually to look at to look uh, at the usd chf and read it right now uh, simply on the daily chart we can see that right here we had a very strong key support level, not only here, but also right here as well. And the same level of the support has actually been respected or actually retested, sorry. And again, right here, that is previous uh, support level has become a resistance. However, it's very important to remember that this strong support level has become a resistance only for one time only. Once the market actually has made an attempt to create another attempt of the resistance, immediately the market has made a bullish breakout right from that level. Now, this is, our, uh, this is actually our best opportunity to start again buying the USDCHF because even on the daily chart, we can see that right here, let me, zo let me zoom in. This right here, guys, is representing the support number one. So our good opportunity is waiting for the USDCHF to fall for another 40, uh, 40 pips maybe. And after that, we can start again buying the pair once it reaches the same level of the support to create another attempt of the support. So if we go to the four hour time frame, we can see clearly that the USDCHF should be really good for the buy exactly right from that level. This is the support number one. And here right now, we can start again buying the pair.
So USDCHF for the pair for the buy as zero point nine three double seven one. Yes, correct. And the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that support level until the previous uh, resistance zone. So it's going to be about five hundred. Sorry, uh, fifty five pips only, like that. And for the take profit level, let's go to the daily chart. And as we can see, if we started buying the USDCHF right here, I think it's going to continue the rise until it hits the peak of the resistance right here on 0 0.9524, uh, which is going to be, by the way, 151 pips of profit. Hopefully, we will make them. So um, the take profit level is going to be 0 0.95224. And there goes your signal for the USDCHF. And I think it's going to be a very good signal. And hopefully, we will make good profits out of it. Now let's take a look at the gold. Now looking at the gold, actually I have spent some time analyzing the pair and actually to be honest with you, I felt bad about my analysis last week for the midweek analysis when I expected from the gold to fall. But however, the gold actually has gained some strength and immediately rose above the uh, sell level. Of course, my friends, first of all, I am personally apologizing for any losses happened because of my signal. And second of all, I'm encouraging everyone to always prepare for the losses. I have said that million times. Guys, always prepare for the losses. Must Actually, I have been sending the signals for the gold and in my opinion, they have been very, very unbelievably accurate for the past two months. Once actually... I actually has I actually have failed on the last midweek analysis, but that is very normal. I mean, I'm allowed to make one one single loss or actually one um, fail analysis or one uh, false analysis every once in a while. This is normal. I mean, I cannot make a very accurate and precise analysis every single week. Uh, otherwise, um, it's just not going to work. You know what I mean? It's normal for us guys to make analysis and we, we we might sometimes be wrong about it, but this is the normality of Forex and I hope you guys understand this. However, um, what I actually, I actually have spent a lot of time analyzing the gold and just being sure that this signal should be actually very good and hopefully it's going to be. Now, as we can see, the gold actually on the daily chart has, has actually made several attempts to break out from that long term support level of 1700. And as we can see, the pair has reversed all of the times on the very same support level. Indicates that right now the gold most likely is going to continue the rise. Not only that, but if we look carefully, we can see that right here on the daily chart, we had here a strong resistance trend line. And that pair, uh, that resistance trend line actually has been eventually broken out from by this bullish breakout candle. Now, what we can expect from the pair, most likely the gold is actually going to fall a little bit more to create a pullback. And that support level right here is going to be respected again. And most likely exactly right here, we can start again buying the gold. And our target is going to be the peak of the resistance right here on 1754. Now, looking at the level where we are actually planning to buy the gold on 1717. If we look carefully, my friends. We can see that the very same level here was a strong support as well. It was here a support as well. And if we look at the left, we can see that the same level was another support level or, or, a, or a very strong support level and right here as well. So every single time when the gold has actually reached that level after bullish breakout, immediately it has respected it and immediately reversed as well. So going back to the four hour time frame. As we can see, this is the resistance trend line. And as we can see, the gold is actually having a very strong bullish momentum. That's why, if I'm not mistaken, the gold right now going to reverse exactly at that resistance and fall all the way right here to create the pullback. And that strong key support level has to be respected again. This is exactly where we're going to buy the gold. And I really hope this signal is going to work very well. Uh, let's see. Um, the gold is going to be good for the buy at 1717.36. And let me just delete this line here. So it's not, not going to confuse you. Exactly like that. And draw here the shape of the uh, safe zone. Exactly like this. And for the take profit level, it's going to be uh, 1754.94. There, there goes your signal for the gold and I really hope it's going to work very well as usual and hopefully bring us lots of profits. Again, my friends, I have to remind everyone to please always prepare for the losses. Of course, yeah, I forgot to mention the reason for selecting the edge of the safe zone. Now, 
since I'm depending on that support level and that one as well for the reversal of the gold, most likely, guys, maybe, maybe the gold actually going to continue the fall and hit that strong key support level and create right here a bullish pin bar. And after that, it's going to reverse. Of course, that is one of the reasons I had to select the edge of the safe zone to be exactly right here, touching the or touching this support level right here. So as I'm telling you always, please be careful and wise about your trades. Um, don't put all of your uh, your account or your, your, your entire amount in one trade, hoping to double your account. That's not going to work. If it works one time, two times, three times, it can never run forever. One, one day you're actually going to lose and wipe all of your account because you haven't been trading wisely. Always prepare for the losses and of course always uh, pay attention and stay tuned for us. Actually, if I see the market actually moving strongly against my direction, uh, I'm going to release a very early version of the midweek analysis and hopefully going to fix uh, any mistake happened in this weekly analysis. So of course, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.